Okay, let's scoot on over and uh, look at a couple other things that I want us to think about as well. One of the other things I want us to have is I want us to use a radio button group. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in a container here. right? And in my container, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add a new button. And, oh great, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and change the sky again. I want to use a value, and the value that I want to use is going to be me parent dot digits. And I don't want any decimals. And I want a space after that to make sure it formats right and word wrap. Great. And instead of one, I want this to say preset. Okay, so preset one. And what would, should happen is we're going to make some copies of these. And we can see that we've got preset two, three. Let's do even one more, four. I'm going to highlight, box select all of these. Let's go ahead and make these guys alignment order, me.digits. And now if we open up the panel, we can see mm, they're all stacked on top of one another. What gives? Right, well, let's go ahead and set the alignment order to be top to bottom. Okay, great. Now, what I'm after is I would like these, instead of thinking or kind of operating as individual buttons, I want them to be a radio button. So I want it to be one, and when I click on two, I want one to go away. When I click on three, I want two to go away. That's what I would like to have happen. And we can quickly and easily set this up by box selecting all of these buttons. We're going to set its button type to be radio down. And then I'm going to find a panel chop our good old handy friend, the panel chop. And out of the panel chop, I just want to select radio. And I'm going to go ahead and use an out. Not an oit, but an out, to pass this out of the container. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and attach a null to the end of this so we can see what's going on. All right, so what's happening here? So when I click on uh, the first button, the signal that's coming out of this is zero, right? This is the zero stack in the button. Then I get one, two, three. Uh, and if I really wanted that to match the digits, right, I could even do something like this. Uh, I could add a math here. This all depends on uh, what you need. But I could say that I want to just go ahead and add one to that. So now preset 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3, 4 is 4. So this is a really excellent and handy way that we can take buttons and then turn them into a kind of radio select method. And I want to see you use that at least once. And what you do with that is totally up to you. right? And I know that might sound stressful, and that's OK. Um, but remember, you've already got a chop network set up, so you might just have to spend some time thinking about, all right, how could you use that kind of technique to leverage the chop network that you already have? Okay, so that's button selecting, or excuse me, radio selecting, radio button groups, blah, 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 radio button groups, excellent.